Now let us start with the stepstone.de. So here we have the landing page and when I search for something like senior software engineer, okay, software engineer. So it is going to give some suggestions and it is also going to give some technology. So I'm clicking on Java and I'm not giving any filter here something like full time or part time and this is where you have the complete uh, job website okay so what you can see now is the complete list you can see there are 451 uh, matching uh, job postings on this and as i mentioned before that it is good to use the edge translate feature so i'm translating it to english and everything that you see is going to be in english now so uh, you can also go ahead and see the filter here this is the most important one so you can start browsing things here but let's start learning these filters so you can see that it is newer than 20 24 hours that means if you're visiting it regularly it is one of those best features that you can use to see okay what are those job postings that were actually posted in last 24 hours and so that you're not looking at the same postings again and again all the times that's very important feature and you can see there are 19 job postings that are there and in the last one week 155 job postings are there and you can also see the home office preferred job postings and the partial home office that means that you will be asked to come one once a week to the office to stay to be with your colleagues and meet them in person and attend those grooming sections on some important meetings at the office so you can also set the salary so that you can actually filter them out i don't recommend to do that so basically here you can see the commute time and all those things this is mostly for those people who are thinking of they're living in a city but they don't want to travel to larger distances or they want to look at a job in that certain radius of that city it is useful for those people who are already living in Germany but you can also try out something like Munich and 150 kilometers distance and Stuttgart or some of those important cities so it is also something of good interest for those who are already in Germany and looking for jobs and you can see this application type that means that here if you want to apply that means that you will be redirected to the company's website and you have to apply there that means they will ask your all your personal details and all those things and they will ask you to upload your resume they will ask you to upload your curriculum vitae covering letter and all those things your certificate scans and all those things quick application means that whatever you have the information on stepstone will be used to apply so these are the two variants and the language is german so you can see the abilities here so it is not just about the technical abilities but it is also important sometimes you need to have english skills so for all those people who are applying from outside Germany I would recommend to use this filter because this clearly gives you uh, what jobs are actually seeking to have a good English knowledge as a language skill so this is very important and they might be preferring a full-time English speaker for their job openings but when there is more into customer communication then they would mostly prefer to have a person with German knowledge but if you are only a developer who is coordinating inside the team and somebody else is giving you the requirement then I would strongly recommend you to look at this filter then you can see a lot of other filters are hiding here so it is discipline is IT then you have managerial staff and when you are looking at a job in the IT don't specifically filter out with the industries because it is a department in every industry so manufacturing industry in germany is huge that means that specifically if you are searching for a job in sap or it storage management or server management or something else devops or something then i would recommend don't touch that industry just look at your job profile title or some technology and start looking at them don't use these filters then the number of opportunities that will be displayed for you will be low so in terms of region you can see that southern region western region bavaria and all those things so i'll explain you what are the regions and where we'll see the german political map and what are the states and where they are located and what you have to understand by looking at those regions so i will show you all those details then we have cities especially as i mentioned most of the job openings will be in larger cities but if you want to have a fine grain 
and uh, openings into uh, mid level towns and all those things i would recommend you to go visit arbetsagentour.de website and start looking for jobs in that website and that is also going to give a very good advantage for you to look at the jobs that are getting posted in the mid level towns and with professional experience uh, you can see that without work experience that means that people who have finished their masters or even without some experience might be able to apply for them then the competition is naturally going to be high but if you have experience go with this one but i would recommend you to look at both the options then part time or full time so if you want to work for less than 30 hours a week then this is a good section for you then full time means 40 hours a week so all those tags whatever you're going to put are going to be here so by looking at this complete thing so let me click this one so you can see this is a job opening for a full stack java developer in kotlin and angular so uh, the moment when you see that it is asking this should i translate this and yes and you can see the complete job posting is transferred to english and you will be able to see what are the technologies they are asking and all those things so remember that in german job posting there will be always two most important parts three parts the first one is always about the company the second one is about what is the job about what are the roles and responsibilities of that person and the third one is the what are the expected skills that are needed to apply for this job these are the three important parts you will see and here once you look at that then you can go ahead and start applying for them so this is how the filter in stepstone is going to work and remember that when you have a login for yourself then you have the ability to actually set this filter give each and every filter a name and you will be receiving the job alerts to your email directly on every day basis so this is going to be a lot helpful because you might not be visiting the website on everyday basis but you will be receiving the emails listing out those jobs to your inbox and that way you will be able to quickly decide whether is it an interesting job posting or not should i apply it for it or not and then you will be able to decide for it so it is important to use these filters clearly but the more and more you use it you get used to them and it is good to have a newsletter subscription part where you will be receiving these job postings as alerts to your email so that's all for this section and we will look at the other filters in the linkedin and zing as well in the next section and they will be mostly similar but i will cover them quickly to give you a familiarity about them that's all for this section thank you